Hello everyone. Uh, right now we're gonna talk about don't believe everything you think. And so Zach Apple's book, Don't Believe Everything You Think, that is the six basic mistakes we make in thinking is thoughts, provoking or looking at the prevalent faults and dangers in human thinking. It was released in 2024 and invents readers to critically examine their thoughts and beliefs in order to prevent these connected errors. And accept uh, Apple explanations, connect the basis using real life examples and simple explanations. And they provide practical, pro, uh, practical advice to assist readers overcome their prejudices. The book, Don't Believe Everything You Think, encourages readers to question and analyze their thoughts and views. This allows individuals and to make the better, uh, better decisions and cope with when we think we prefer stories over statics. We tend to confirm our beliefs rather than questions that we frequently uh, overlook the role of chance and con coincidence in events. Uh, we misunderstood cause and effect, and we struggle to deal with condemning discernments, and we rely too heavily on memory. And in a quickly changing in the world full with conjecture information, the constants present and don't believe everything you think are virtual. The article educates readers to be skeptical of infirmity they come across and not accept everything they hear. A true the applications uh, recommends uh, these strategies for improving people's capacity to assess information and make decisions. Uh, Apple's investigations into convicted based biases and errors serves and reminders to readers uh, to pause on uh, truly evaluating the reasons and behind through the judgments. Uh, by revealing the underlying process, the influence of our thinking, he invites readers to embrace intellectual humanity and engage in a conscientious practice of self-examinations and self-improvement. Simply said the slogan, don't believe everything you think, encourage readers to be able where uh aware of their thoughts to challenge how they think and seek uh, a greater knowledge of the world uh the book provides insightful analysis analysis and guidance on how to think more logically and critically enabling readers to make better decisions and navigate life more intentionally Throughout, don't believe everything you think. You are encouraged to tolerate and beggarly and realize the limits of your conjecture powers. Apple's work emphasized the needs of intellectual humanity and being willing to admit our faults and sexual characteristics for personal growth. The actual progress it also emphasizes the importance of being open to ideas and varied perspectives. On it also. Uh, also motivates individuals uh, to consider their deeply healed views and comfort with facts and contradict it. By encouraging critical thinking and evidence-based reasoning, don't believe everything you think equips readers with the tools they need to confidently, confidently and clearly and navigate the problems. Uh, today's world. Uh, the work in literature teach readers to be suspicious and think critical while digesting information. By doing so, it helps people become more thoughtful and responsible in forming their beliefs and making decisions. Additionally, the phrase, don't believe everything you think, uh, don't believe everything you think, is strong, strong reminders that thinking truly truth and understanding a continuous process and involves regularly revaluing oneself and staying curious by practicing intellectual humanity and relying on evidence based reasoning people can improve their natural mental strength and protect themselves for from the errors for thinking
So in the self-evaluation reflection, did you use appropriate amounts of time for four or five minutes? Yes, I used four or five minutes until I look over the video. Uh, did your explanation of each object reflect eventually insights and sincerely? Uh, yes, I explained how each exhibit organized knowledge and honesty on the film. Uh, did you use the voice effectively pitch or volume? Yes, I utilize my voice effectively in terms of high pitch loudness. Uh, wear novel delivery and use notes effectively. Facial expression, stance, eye contact. Yes, I use the advice for good face expressions, posture, and the eye contact in the video. What were your strengths uh, in your delivery and writing? Uh, my strengths were composing the outline in this paper, it, that is teaching me ethnically and abilities as well finding a book reference, references to help me grasp, uh, grasp the title uh, in the body and a conclusion of paragraphs. All right, thank you so much. Uh, well,